YouTube, welcome to Groove Builders. I'm Disorderly Cone, and in this episode, we're going to be building the Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade 3D wooden model. And I'm pretty excited to check out this particular one because, as you can see, I'm a pretty big Assassin's Creed fan. When I started looking into these wooden models, I found out there was tons out there. And I mean everything from Disney to Marvel to spaceships, pretty much anything you can possibly think of is replicated in these wooden models. Depending on how this one works out, Groovers, I might start featuring a few more of these on the channel. With that, Groove Builders, let's get down to the workbench and check out the package. Groove Builders, welcome to the workbench. We have our Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade 3D wooden model. This packaging is pretty cool and thick too, almost like a book. I think there's quite a lot in here. Let's take a look at the back. First thing we see is the fun to create logo at the top, followed by the text, everything you need to build a detailed 3D hidden blade model. Build and customize your own collectible eco-friendly model in three simple steps. Will it be that easy? We'll find out. These steps are punch out, build, and color. I have heard it's easier to color these models first than build them, but we're gonna go ahead and just build this today. With no further ado, let's open up the package. The first thing we're going to see, it looks like, is the Behind the Steams Film Guide book. This book looks like it gets your feet wet with Assassin's Creed film lore. Yes, Behind the Steams Film Guide. That's pretty neat. I actually haven't seen the movie, I heard it's pretty bad, so I try to stay away from it to preserve my love for the franchise. But the book looks pretty detailed and the pictures look very nice as well. At the back of the book, we get some tips on how to paint and decorate our hidden blade to make it our own. I will make sure to give this a read a little bit later. I think that's it for the book. We have some cardboard, and we have our wooden sheet, which is wrapped in some plastic for some protection. Let's take a look at our instructions to see what we're getting ourselves into. From the top, we have our Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade logo, followed by a picture of what our completed model will look like. On the right, we have our parts diagram, which corresponds with our wooden sheet. Then we have steps along the bottom here that are done in really big, easy to read pictures. On the back, it looks like we have more of the same. Groove Builders, honestly, this doesn't look too hard, but this being our first wooden model, let's take our time. Let's go ahead and start by taking our plastic off our wood. Our first step is to match the board pieces to the above diagram. We already do this in the beginning of every one of our builds, so I guess we've already completed this step. Step two involves popping out the base piece. It's a little smaller than I thought, but I guess we'll see what it looks like all together. With step three, we can now pop out the pieces two and three, being very careful to push the wood in multiple locations so we don't accidentally break the pieces. Attach part two, making sure the part that looks like a Mayan temple is facing up. Match up the slots and wait for that nice clicking sound. You will notice that I work this piece in several locations to make sure that it's secure within its slots. We are going to use the same method for part number three. Our next step is to attach pieces four and five. These pieces are smaller, so I'm going to use my punch to carefully work these pieces out. Grab part four and insert the end with two prongs into the base. You will have to work it nice and tight right next to part two and three. We repeat this for part five. For step 5, we will need parts 6, 7, and 8. Oh, one thing that's really nice is on the wood sheet, they have numbers right next to the parts. I think this would be really great for some of our metal models, am I right? Here's 6, 
And part seven and eight are small, kind of like four and five, so I'm gonna use my punch again to get these parts out. We grab part six with the blade facing down and insert part seven with the long part going towards the top. To make sure we got a good fit, I grab part eight before firmly pressing them into the blade, getting that click we need to hear. Step 6 is pretty straightforward, just add the knife to the frame we made earlier. Done! For step 7, we attach part 9 to the blade. That came out really easy. Now we just need to orientate to the picture like so, and press down firmly in multiple locations listening for that click. This is coming along quite well. Step 8 has us taking part 10. Wow, that was another really easy part to get out. And attaching it into the lower part of the blade. Make sure the wings are on the top side. Now we need to give this a good push. That was a lot harder than I thought. Step 9 is part 11, which looks like a wheel with a teardrop. Make sure to have the teardrop facing down. It's really important to push this piece all the way down as our next piece will go right on top. I really tried to work it in the best I possibly could. Finally, step 10 uses our last part, number 12. We take this piece and attach it with the big side facing the right side of the blade. Push down hard to get a good connection. Alright group builders, we did it. We built ourselves the Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade. Let's get right to construction difficulty. This particular model wasn't very hard to build. With only 12 pieces, the biggest thing to worry about is when you're connecting all the pieces together, you're not snapping any pieces of the wood. Just make sure to go slow and when you're connecting the pieces to make sure you hear a click. Once you've heard that click, you know the pieces are nice and secure. The next thing is build time. The hidden blade did not take very long at all to build. As a matter of fact, I used pretty much all of the footage from the build inside this YouTube video, just so you can see how easy it was to actually construct this particular model. Overall, it took 15 minutes and some of the edits that I made were mostly out of just me fumbling with pieces. The last thing I want to talk about is what I think. The hidden blade looks pretty awesome, especially with all the wooden detail they decided to keep in on it. Now it does move a little bit, mind you it is a little bit hard to do, but after some working it does work pretty well. I think if I was to paint this, it would definitely add a lot of pop. However, with the wooden etching the way it is, it actually looks really really nice the way it is. So I think for right now I might leave it, but if I do decide to do some painting, I will definitely do an update video. Alright group builders, that brings us to the end. I had a great time building the Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade with you. And if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well as we got all kinds of really cool stuff coming down the way. Until next time group builders, keep building.